fried chicken is my son's favorite. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited today because we're making the infamous KFC or Korean fried chicken. This recipe is ridiculously good. Chicken is super crispy because it's double fried and then it's tossed in a sweet, salty and sticky sauce. I'm going to show you in this recipe how to take boneless chicken thigh and make it look just like wings. I also want to shout out to my friend, celebrity chef Sang Kim. He showed me how to make this by pointing me to the right recipe. I got Sue's recipe from mykoreankitchen.com. It's incredible. Thank you, Sue. I'm going to leave that link in the description. Before I go any further with this recipe, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I upload new videos every week, so make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. Also, ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon. That will notify you every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I have three pounds here of boneless chicken thighs, and this is my favorite part of the chicken to use. I'm going to take each piece and cut it lengthwise. Some pieces may be bigger than others, as we all know, chickens are not created equal. So I will cut these in three or four strips each. I find that cutting the chicken this way makes it look just like wings when they're fried. I'm done now, so I'm going to put these back into the bowl so I can marinate it. The first thing I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of ground ginger. Next, I'm going to add three tablespoons of Shaoxing wine, a teaspoon of sea salt, and some fresh cracked pepper. Give this a good mix and keep aside for a minimum of 30 minutes. The first step in the frying process is to dredge the chicken in regular cornstarch and fry it one by one. Once they turn nice and golden brown, just remove them and place on a kitchen towel. I'm going to repeat this process until I have all of my pieces of chicken fried. Now notice how these look like wings. I started with a half cup of cornstarch, but add more if you need more. Go! Don't stop 
Next, I'm going to make a cornstarch slurry. This is just half a cup of cornstarch dissolved in water, and I'm just going to add some pepper for some extra flavor. I have fresh oil here, and I'm going to fry these babies for the second time. Go! Just dip them in the slurry and fry them again. If you need more cornstarch slurry, just mix up another batch. Repeat this process till you have all of the pieces of chicken fried and ready. Now while I work on the sauce, I'm going to stick my chicken in a 350 degree oven to stay nice and crisp. In a saucepan, I'm going to add 3 tablespoons of tomato ketchup, 2 tablespoons of gochujang or pepper paste. This is a red chili pepper paste found in most Asian stores. It also contains fermented soybeans and glutinous rice. This paste gives this recipe its telltale red color. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of honey to balance the spice and to give the chicken a stickiness. Next, I'm going to add a quarter cup of regular sugar, two tablespoons of minced garlic, and two tablespoons of light soya sauce. Please note that it's important to use light and not dark soya sauce in this recipe as we want to preserve that traditional red color. Finally, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sesame oil. I'm now going to turn the heat on and allow this sauce to come together before I stir it. Look how luscious this is. Sweet, salty, spicy, and sticky all at the same time. I'm going to take my chicken out of the oven now and I'm going to pour this delicious sauce all over it. And mix it well to coat. Just before serving, I'm going to sprinkle this with some sesame seeds. And spring onions. This is a great recipe to serve at game night or when you're just chilling with the fam watching a movie. If you want to make this ahead, prepare the fried chicken and the sauce ahead and store them separately. Place the chicken in a single layer in a 350 degree oven until it's crisp and heat and pour the sauce over it when you're ready. Enjoy! Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings with Adventures. I know you really love this recipe. Trust me, it's ridiculously good. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and share my channel and my videos with your family and friends. Do ring the bell, that's YouTube's new bell icon that will notify you every time I upload a new video. And follow me behind the scenes. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and even Snapchat. Until I see you next time, happy eating, take care, bye.